I am working on my next sewing make, which is Simplicity 9385 View B. I really like View B because it has a band around the waist and also bands around the wrist. So I thought that it would be really cute. And then it has pleats on the pocket. So it should make kind of like a puffy looking sleeve. And I'm using some leftover fabric that I had from a dress that I made. And it is like a lightweight sweatshirt fabric. So I really like this. I like the color and I had plenty of it left. So I thought it would be perfect for this top. Now what I am doing different is I want to add a ruffle, a gathered ruffle right across the front of the chest area. And I'll show you what I'm doing to make that happen. So this is the front pattern piece. And what I did is I measured from left to right so that I can determine how long I should make the ruffle piece. So the front one half is just 10 inches, but because you're gonna have, you know, two halves together to create a hole, you're gonna take the 10 inches plus another 10 inches, so the whole full front is gonna be 20 inches wide. So what I did is I decided that I would make the ruffle two and three eighths inch wide this way. And the length is going to be 35 inches long because that should definitely be enough. Once it's gathered, that should be enough to fit the front of the top. And I'm going to cut this piece out on the fold. So I actually made it 17 and a half inches long. And then on the fold, once you unfold it, you know, you'll have double that. So it'll be actually 35 inches on the fold. And I just took this 3 8 of an inch wide measurement from another ruffle in another pattern. So I traced out the front piece because I'm going to have to cut here. So this is gonna be the placement line for the ruffle. So I want the ruffle to come from my shoulders all the way down and I marked the point to be at like six and a quarter inches. So then I drew the line across from that point. So now what I'm gonna do is cut the pattern. I'm gonna cut this across and I will need to cut this on the fold, just like, you know, this is still the folded edge, so I'm still gonna have to place this on the fold. And I'll just put a little mark to remind myself to place that on the fold. So what's going to happen, I can actually put this away. I don't need that anymore. What is going to happen is once I cut my fabric out, and this will be cut out in fabric too. Once it's all gathered up, I am going to sew it to the edge. It's gonna be long, so I'm gonna sew it to the edge, and then I'm going to put the top on top of the ruffle and sew that down on top so that I can sandwich the ruffle in between. So then when you, I press it up, then I should have, you know, the ruffle sandwiched in between. That reminds me that when I'm cutting this out, I need to make sure to add my seam allowance back in so that the top won't be too small. So I'm going to have to measure out 5 eighths of an inch this way when I'm cutting and five eighths of an inch down this way. So maybe I'll put some markers to remind me to do the seam allowance. I'll put add or something. And then that way I won't forget. I am running short on fabric, so I pulled out some more scrap pieces. So I have this white, I have this brown, 
and then of course I have some of this left over so this is going to end up being a color blocking garment but I think these colors look pretty nice together so hopefully it will be cute so far I have these sleeves cut out and I marked all the areas where the pleats are supposed to go there are quite a bit of pleats in this but I think that if they turn out okay, it should make a nice little puffy kind of sleeve. Okay, so I have gathered the ruffle. I didn't bother finishing the edge and I just pinned the wrong side of the ruffle to the right side of the lower half of the front of the shirt. I'm gonna baste this down and then I will place the upper half on top of here like that so I'm gonna like you know put the ruffle in between the two pieces and then I'm gonna sew that down and then when I flip it up it should look something like you know like that with the ruffle like that So I threw on my top so that I can do a little running around. I have some errands to do. I'm actually sitting in front of Target about to go in, but I wanted to share with you the top and let you know that I really like the pattern. I did find an error in the pattern and it came to the sleeves. So view A and view B both have pleats on the sleeves, but the pattern piece is only long enough for the view a. So I realized after I made the garment that the sleeves were really short and I went back and looked and made sure I cut everything out okay and I did. So it just looks like they did not put the length for view B sleeves in the pattern. It's only the length for view A. If you want to make view B you would have to lengthen the sleeve pattern piece which I think is piece number four. But other than that the pattern sewed up really nicely. It does have a wide band. I did make a size eight and I did use some scraps for the band pieces and the brown piece I did not have enough fabric for so I ended up cutting it out in two pieces instead of cutting it out on the fold so I ended up with a seam down the front of the band so before I go I want to leave you with a love share in Canada the Royal Canadian Mint stopped producing and distributing pennies and that happened in February of 2013